two works for you weather. Certified most accurate. All right, Taft Price uh, literally running to the set to make this segment. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, tr <laughs> trying to watch all the showers out there. And see You're a busy man. Yeah, trying to get everything organized, <laughs> see where we need to have it. Are they uh, starting to dry up already? Uh, you know, the, the circulation is starting to lift off to our north and east, and as it continues doing so, we're going to see less and less rainfall here in northeast Oklahoma. We need some more rain, but hey, we'll take what we can get. But unless you're going to the lake, you probably want things to start to dry out just a little bit so you can have a fairly dry weekend. And I think most of our Labor Day weekend will be on the dry side. Let's take a look at some of the area lakes. Most of the lakes in the area are well below average. You notice Sky Took and Tent Killer both running eight feet below. Grand's running one foot above, and Hudson is reporting some normal conditions right now. So be very careful if you're going to be out on the area lakes over the weekend as you could see some of those uh, stumps and things that normally would not be visible are visible now because some of those lakes are very, very low. We're hoping to get some good rains out of this. Not really happening. We're seeing just light rain right here in the city of Tulsa. 79 degrees in the city with cloudy skies right now. You notice the winds out of the north and northwest at 15 miles per hour as we're now on the southwest side of this circulation. So our wind directions continue to change. And as we move through the rest of the day, I expect mainly north and northwest breezes at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And the pressure is holding steady currently at 29.80. You notice on Viper 2 HD, the city of Tulsa, we're seeing just those passing showers from the north to the south. Right now we have some showers just to the north of Skytook, also around Ulaga and in the Claremore area. Those are going to drop to the south, so there's going to be periodic chances of showers out there. Maybe an isolated thunderstorm in far eastern Oklahoma as we move through the afternoon hours, but I think the heaviest of the rain and the embedded thunderstorms are going to stay over in areas of Arkansas, possibly even up into Missouri. You can easily see where that spin is located now just to the north and east of the Fayetteville area, getting ready to cross over into southwest Missouri. It'll continue working off to the north, and as it does so, you notice the back edge of the rainfall around McAllister over to oh, areas of Osage County. As this continues pulling away, we're going to see that back edge start to move a little bit farther to the northeast. So I expect as we head through the late afternoon and evening hours, most of the showers will start to pull north and east of the Tulsa area. Will we be completely finished with the rain? Not yet, but it looks like most of the rain should be over with as we head through the evening hours. Hours. We have seen some nice amounts of rain in several locations. Take a look at Joplin's picked up nearly an inch and a half of rainfall, almost a half an inch in Grove. Fayetteville's picked up almost a half an inch, about a half an inch in Fort Smith, over a half an inch of rain in Harrison, Arkansas. But as you move back to the west, as expected, lesser amounts of rain. We've only picked up officially six one hundredths of an inch right here in the city of Tulsa. Where it has rained, we're seeing temperatures in the 70s with the clouds around, sunshine across southeast, south central, central, and western Oklahoma, allowing temperatures to warm already in into the low to mid 80s, and we're seeing those north and northwesterly breezes anywhere from about 10, occasionally up to 20 miles per hour. Right now, we're having sustained winds of 18 over in Fort Smith. So through the afternoon, we'll see some scattered showers still across northeast Oklahoma and southeast Kansas. Overnight, we'll drop that chance, about a 30% opportunity of showers through the overnight. We'll keep some clouds in, and then on our Saturday, it looks like most of that rain's starting to pull on out. Take a look at how much rain we expect here in the city of Tulsa. Maybe a tenth, two tenths, that's about it. Heavier rains off to the east of us, again, picking up over an inch of rain in western sections of Arkansas. And for us, well, we're just going to have to deal with some drier weather moving in. But for today, with the clouds and some showers, 84 the high here in the city of Tulsa. That's going to be the coolest over the next seven days. 92 tomorrow as we'll see decreasing clouds. 98 on Sunday. Labor Day right now just in 99 degrees. Slightly cooler for middle and end of next week. Another front headed our way. But after this, hot weather for the next several days. All right. Thank you, Taft. Okay.